sight in the game to see the boxing boys. In your eyes, is the Mayweather era over? A lot of people say that he's retired. A lot of people say he's not. In your eyes, do you think it's over? And if it is over, who do you think will take that mantle? Over in terms of he's not going to fight anymore or over as in everyone's over it? Because I think uh, those are two different things. <laughs> A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Okay. Um, I do. I think he will fight again. I don't work with Mayweather. I don't work with the team, so I don't know the ins and outs. Um, yeah. Obviously, I'm, I am an employee of top rank, but um, I think he's going to go for fight number 50. Just something inside of me is like, I just can't see him hanging it up after, after the Birdo fight. I don't know. It just didn't feel right. It didn't feel like how he'd want to step away. Um, do I think people will buy it? I think that depends on who that opponent would be. I think people are, are tired of spending the money and just saying he's the greatest, hang it up, let's go to the new chapter. Um, but if it's against maybe a Kodo again, if it's against maybe a Triple G, if you can get him to come down and wait, I think that, that still leaves a little crack open in that door. Pacquiao rematch? <laughs> Do you guys want to see a Pacquiao rematch? Um, I know people will talk about it. I don't think it, anything would match the hype or the sale of the first one. And honestly, yes, the first one overall to everybody was uh, a letdown. But um, could they say, oh, a healthy Pacquiao and a no IV, no BS stuff from Floyd? Like, could they try to package it that way? Perhaps it's boxing. Uh, anything could happen. But um, I don't know if 100% I'd really want to see it again. So who ultimately becomes the leader of the new school, the new pack, the new era? I in your know. eyes, and Christina, because yeah, you, you've seen so many fighters. So. I, I Who have. Would you? Who would I have. You I mean, there's a few guys that coming up could be the leader of the new era. I mean, if you're, uh, it's hard to say an Andre Ward because we haven't seen him fight that much. A, a Triple G still has to prove himself. A Terrence Crawford is on his way, but still has to prove himself. There's a Chocolatito. There's guys that are, I don't know if anyone steps in clearly into that number number two at Kovalev. Um, there, it's hard. Canelo. Canelo, like you said, I think he's got to get past Cotto to take that spot. So it's really hard. I think to I think he was so far ahead in number one that that number two is a little more gray. Well, Christina, as always, I thank you for your thank time. You the so lovely much. and always Appreciate Guatemala, it. ladies and gentlemen. That's right, Guatemalteca. <laughs> <laughs> so, for theboxingvoice.com, Fernando Pimentel, Christina Poncher, we'll see you guys at the fights. And you guys better be there November 7th because she will That's be ringside right. calling the fight. I will be there. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, at Christina Poncher. Thank you for your time, Christina. Bye. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>